In this video, I will be talking about how angiotensin 2 increases sympathetic flow. But before we talk about angiotensin 2 specifically, let's talk about the renal, the renin, aldosterone, um, angiotensinogen system. So what happens? When there is less blood flow in the kidney, the kidney releases something called renin. Renin is going to convert angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1, right? And angiotensinogen is secreted from the liver. Angiotensin, angiotensinogen 1 is then later converted to angiotensin 2 by using the enzyme ACE. And this process is taking place in the lungs. Angiotensinogen 2 then works in five different locations. First of all, it's going to stimulate the kidney to release aldosterone. Aldosterone is going to go and it's going to reabsorb tubular sodium and water is going to follow sodium following water retention as a result thus increasing the blood pressure. It also going to cause the arteriolar vasoconstriction directly. Okay? It's going to cause pituitary to release uh, ADH and ADH is going to reabsorb water from the kidney as a result in, in, in as a result increasing blood pressure. But most importantly, angiotensinogen 2 is also going to stimulate sympathetic activity. It's going to increase sympathetic activity and I'm going to talk about specifically how it increases sympathetic activity. Now this is a graph of a, a sympathetic uh, neurotransmitter. So we can see that the norepinephrine is right here. Okay, The norepinephrine is coming at the vesicle and it's merging with the vesicle at the presynaptic vesicle releasing norepinephrine in the synapse. Now this vesicle, this norepinephrine is stimulated by other uh, receptors. For example, it's stimulated by the muscarinic receptors and it's inhibited by muscarinic receptor. Why? Because norepinephrine is sympathetic flow and whenever there is too much sympathetic flow, this is counterbalanced by the muscarinic system or the parasympathetic system by negative feedback by decreasing the norepinephrine uh, outflow. So obviously nor uh, muscarinic is, is going to decrease that flow. As a result, we have a negative here. But what about this one? What is this receptor? This is uh, angiotensin 2. I'm going to talk about this a little later. Let's talk about the alpha-2 receptors. So what happens is that norepinephrine has uh, three receptors, alpha-1, alpha-2, and beta-1. The job of alpha-2 is going to decrease sympathetic flow, right? It's going to decrease sympathetic flow. So that's exactly what it's doing here. To control the release of norepinephrine, to keep it under check, not to depress, but to keep it under check, there is a negative feedback, which is going back to the alpha-2 receptors, which is going to decrease norepinephrine release into the synapse, kind of controlling how much norepinephrine is going to be released into the synapse. That is controlled by our alpha-2 receptor. Last but not the least is our angiotensinogen 2 receptor. Angiotensinogen 2 is going to directly stimulate norepinephrine. What does that mean? If it directly stimulates norepinephrine, it's going to increase the level of norepinephrine in the synapse. As a result, it's going to increase sympathetic flow because norepinephrine is sympathetic, right? It's going to increase sympathetic flow in the entire system. That's exactly what's hap happening here. All right, so let's go back to the previous diagram to see if this matches our story. So see how angiotensinogen 2 is increasing sympathetic activity. And how is it increasing sympathetic activity? Because angiotensinogen 2 is going to bind on the norepinephrine receptor and it's going to increase the release of norepinephrine. And when norepinephrine is released, it's going to work on alpha 1, it's going to go also work on alpha 2 and beta 1. By alpha 1 is going to cause vasoconstriction and by alpha 2 it's going to decrease sympathetic flow but really at the beginning it's going to increase sympathetic activity through norepinephrine and that's exactly how our sympathetic activity is increased with renin because renin is making angiotensinogen 2 and angiotensinogen 2 is making more release of norepinephrine and norepinephrine is increasing sympathetic activity.